Hey, what is happening? Chuck Belden here from Hunter Road Real Estate. I'm a real estate broker in North Carolina, dad, husband, personal development junkie, an athlete, and I love building relationships. I'm coming at you live from my quarantine office. And these are the top five reasons you should always use a real estate broker in a new construction transaction. Let's go. Number one, it's typically paid for by the listing company. So you get professional representation and you don't have to pay for it. Now check your buyer agency agreement because there might be some details in there you want to pay attention to. But typically, and in my area, that's paid for by somebody else. Do I need to say anything else? Can we just stop there? Number two, the agent on the other side of the table works for the seller and not you. And their job is to protect the seller, not you by getting them the best terms and the best price. Again, not you. Now they have a duty to be ethical and honest with you, but they don't owe you anything else and they will never negotiate against their client, the seller. Again, not you. Number three, let's talk ease and convenience for a second. So how about the coordination of a ton of moving parts from lenders and home inspectors and attorneys and moving companies and superintendents and project managers and utility companies and HOAs and decorators, service professionals, on-site agents. The list just goes on and on and on. Wouldn't it be helpful to have another set of eyes keeping tabs on those important dates, making sure we stay on track and moving those forward? Not to mention this is a super emotional time for you building a new home and a good buyer's agent can be a logical buffer between you and the people building your home, helping both sides keep their wits. Number four, negotiations. Some people think they'll save money by not using a realtor and that just isn't true. The listing company has usually already factored that money into their bottom line and they're not gonna cut out a real estate agent who's typically the lifeblood of their business to save a buyer a few dollars. And so that money typically doesn't get factored into the negotiations, but a good realtor can help buyers find additional savings. And even though most builders will say the price is the price and there's no negotiation, I found that to not always be the case and a good agent can help you figure out if that's the case for you also. And how about number five, just a pretty general topic like additional knowledge and insider info that you might not know. Maybe they've worked with this builder before. Maybe they know this area or this neighborhood, or maybe they have some additional insights. Um, maybe they know about the builder's competitors or specials and incentives that are being offered that haven't been uh, released yet. Um, maybe they have access to past comparable sales that can educate you and can give you advice on how to best spend your money to get the most out of your resale potential if the time comes up where you do have to sell your dream home. And although I've already done five, I couldn't leave this one out, maybe 5.1. A good agent will be there after you close and after you move in. They're not just gonna be there for the transaction, they're gonna be there for the relationship and they're gonna be there to help you if something comes up where you do need them again. All right, I hope this helps and I hope it sheds a little bit of light on the to use or not to use debate, buyer's agent that is, and can provide a little bit more insight as to why you should use a buyer's agent. And if you know of anybody thinking of buying or selling a home, I would love to help. So as you come across these people, just give me a call with their name and their info and I'll follow up and I'll take great care of them for you. How's that sound? See you soon with another video coming soon.